Wow. I do not like horror games. Oh well, let's just get started. New game. Chapter 1, the hero and the princess. You're on a path in the woods, oh. and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. I didn't think it was going to read it to me. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Brutal. Explore the end of the world? What are you talking about? Explore, how you consider it? Maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? That's a lot of options. Well, let's, we'll go through all the explore questions. The end of the world, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the end of everything as we know it. No more birds, no more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. <laughs> you have to put an end to her. I don't know, people can be annoying sometimes. But birds and no birds and trees are pretty bad. Contribute something I think it that hasn't been just like at all. That's probably not good. It's because I'm new. That's all. Oh, well, I guess I'll read it again. Does it? Are you a monarchist? Is slaying a princess that much worse than slaying a fisherman or a miller or a seamstress? If anything, slaying a princess is much better than slaying a seamstress. Seamstresses contribute something of value to society. Pretty bold. Can't someone else do this? That's what oh, I would think. Oh, if only that were the case. But I don't make the rules. Oh, I see. I have to say, I'm surprised at your reluctance thus far. But unfortunately for the both of us, you're the only one who can pull this off. I see. Like I said, I don't make the rules. No matter how much I wish I did. <laughs> Forget it, I'm not doing this. Are you serious? <clears throat> no, you have to do it. <laughs> well, okay, that's, that's it, I guess. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants the world <laughs> to end. I mean, maybe some people do, like nihilists, or very, very evil people, but surely you're not one of those, right? <laughs> I don't know. Do I get some sort of reward for doing this? Yes, but you'll have to slay her before you get it. Yeah, but what's the reward? Oh, there we go. Can you tell me what my prize is going to be for doing a good job? It's a secret. But I think you'll like it. It's a special reward, just for you. And whatever you think it might be, I can promise you it's going to be even better than your wildest imagination. I see. We'll see. Well, now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna actually do something. Look in the... Look, I'll go to the cabin and I'll talk to her, and if she's as bad as you say she is, then maybe I'll slay her. But I'm not committing to anything until I've had the chance to meet her face to face. Yeah, let's try that one. <laughs> then I guess we'll just have to see what happens. But, a word of warning. If you go in prepared to hear her out, she could easily trap you in her web of lies. And the more you listen to her honeyed words, the harder it'll be to pull yourself out. I could say the same about you, though. Then each and every one of us is doomed. So sure, go talk to her. See how that turns out for all of us. <laughs> I will. 
you make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Is this supposed to be me? Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I see. It's the inner conscience speaking. Oh, just one choice this thing. Proceed into the cabin. I don't want to know what's going to happen when I open the door. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Hmm. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Oh, there we go. <laughs> The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Why did I not have the weapon before I got into the cap? That this makes no sense. I am being set up here. Definitely. Oh, explore, take the blade, or enter the base. Take you the take the blade from the table. It'll be oh, more difficult see. to slay the princess and save the world without it. Probably. Oh, and then enter the basements are never good in horror games. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing Ominous. a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Fair. But, I mean, she wouldn't be here in the first place if you didn't put it there, so I don't know if that's how it works. Her voice carries up the stairs. Oh, she talks. Who's there? It's Red. That's concerning. She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge oh, down here. Conscience coming back. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Alright, I'm just checking in on you. Hey, I think I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna continue down the stairs. Hmm. Which one provides? You know, we'll just We'll let them know. Oh, are you now? <laughs> Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? Oh boy. Great job. You gave away the amount <laughs> of surprise. Good luck, hero. Perfect. Nobody needs no surprise anyways. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Seems a tad overkill, but I don't know, maybe she has hidden super strength. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. You weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. <laughs> but no way could you even think. Yeah, it wasn't a joke. I haven't decided yet. I'm just here to talk. To steal your nerves and stuff. So we're going to do this one. But no way. Why would you even think of that? That giant knife you're holding kind of gives it away, doesn't it? Fair. The blade. Of course she doesn't want to talk. Who'd want to have a conversation at knife point? <laughs> we should draw inner conscience is inner conscience in. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Fair. Hold on. No, 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 we gotta keep the knife. She's you ignore the trembling screaming. in your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. If the country doesn't get like that thing. one. thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? This doesn't because seem you should very funny filled words that the narrator said they would be. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to mm. get close enough to use it. Yeah, might be because they didn't lock the door. So, you should just drop it. 
Best not to risk finding out what I can do. I might go through a mess off coming here. You can't just keep her locked up in the basement forever, though. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Lock her up. We gotta explore. <clears throat> What if she isn't bluffing? What if she kills us? You go into this expecting to die. You're going to die. <laughs> Hesitating. Oh, Why don't you drop a knife gonna and gonna the two of us can be civilized with each other? Oh, well, I guess we'll just slay the princess then. You charge the princess, blade trembling in your hand. But you've already lost the battle. <laughs> Never mind. She casually sidesteps your thrust before knocking you to the ground with a single blow from her elbow. I see. We shouldn't have hesitated. In her conscience is realizing he's dumb. But she doesn't stop there. She kicks you a few times oh, for good measure. So the pointed tip of her shoes feeling like a pickaxe against your fracturing bones. I, I don't think making I'm sure doing. you stay. Sort of reptile rodent. As you lie, crushed and broken on the basement floor. The princess kneels on your throat with the kind of weight you didn't think her slight frame could possibly possess. As you gasp for air, she eyes you with an intense curiosity. You shouldn't have let that fear creep into your heart. You had the upper hand, and now look at you. Oh, she's evil. Is this really the oh, best you could do? Red. Look at you, completely broken. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed. Fair. She applies more pressure, slowly squeezing what's left of your life out of your lungs. This is the end, isn't it? I'm afraid it is. Already lost. Everything goes dark, <laughs> and you die. Very solemn. You're on a path in the woods, oh, and, and at the end of that path is a cabin. Interesting. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Yeah, yeah, we can. We can. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. I heard. Oh, hold on. New options. Oh, well, yeah, we'll do this one. But I died. What am I doing here? can assure you that you're not dead. And to answer your second question, you're here to slay the princess. I literally told you that a second ago. <laughs> so I guess, oh, I guess the narrator doesn't remember then. Just me? If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Oh, in my inner conscious, those two. Good to know. You know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. Or does it matter what he knows? There's nothing we can do to stop her. She's just going to kill us I again. Can, I hope you can actually hear the voices speaking this. Oh, the voice of the broken, hold up. That's a new one. Is that like, uh, the other inner conscience? I now have two. She is not going to kill you unless you let her. But slaying the princess and saving the world is going to be much more difficult than it has to be if you spend the whole time second-guessing Yeah, we yourself. did that the first time. It didn't go too well. <laughs> Let's assume I'm telling the truth and all of this really did already happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes Good. to get you moving. Good. I want to know. I want answers. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or at least a version of me. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't <laughs> listen to me. Fair. Of course we died. We couldn't land a single blow on her, and she broke every bone Ooh, in our this, body God. before she decided like the other to let us better. die. What were we supposed to do to stop her then? What are we supposed to do to stop Guys, her now? Too, too sad sounding. She's just a princess. Slaying her shouldn't have been difficult, but congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. <laughs> yeah. And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, Oh, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last <laughs> time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. The princess killed us, and now everyone's right back where they started. Yeah, this guy's that sounds pretty consequence-free to me. 
Yes, but in but this purely naive. hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? Hmm. If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, but she brought about the end to on. everyone and everything she cut as her I told her you off. Uh, to be honest, if she ended the that. entire world, why should we even bother? We might as well just walk up to that cabin, break her chains, and let her do whatever she wants. This guy's pessimistic, it's all so I guess I'm pessimistic and naive at the same time. Just That's because she's capable of ending the world game. doesn't mean you're not capable of slaying her. Both of those things can be true at the same time. So chin up. I believe in you. And then the narrator's optimistic. No, wait, we don't know the princess. We don't need to. Actually, no, let's, do, let's talk about this princess. Just be quick about it. What? <laughs> So many more questions to ask. She killed me last time around. How can I make sure that doesn't think I mean just like don't I ask said, questions. if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her, don't trust her, just go in, do your job, and save the world. Sounds like a plan. But I've gotta ask you questions. All she did last time around was beat me to death. How can someone like that end She world? just can. Believe me, I wish I could tell you more, but you'll just have to trust that what I'm saying is true, and that, despite it all, you're fully up to the task that's been given to you. Don't leave me alone. Not. A lot of we might as well just pledge Something ourselves to her, back. and stop pretending that we're capable of doing anything in this situation. She probably doesn't even need to try to overpower us. I need this guy to go away. Can we tone down the pessimism there. just a smidge? See? Perfect. I like this I'm guy not better. being a pessimist. Just being realistic. Yeah, that's a pessimist. You're being annoying. <laughs> just ignore their bickering and whatever you do. Oops, I didn't let it finish. Just ignore their bickering and whatever you do, don't pledge yourself to her. I cannot stress enough how absolutely catastrophic that would be for everyone, and yourself included. Who locked her in that basement? What is this place? People locked her in that basement, <laughs> and I told you Very these specific. places. It's a path in the woods. <laughs> Don't overcomplicate things. Narrator, you're not building this story that well. If people locked her away, why couldn't they slay her? Why is this falling on me? I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because Whoa. you're special. The chosen one. You're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy, if that helps. But it's just <laughs> the way things are. Oh. I didn't oh, know we were special. <laughs> of course you're special. Why else would you be here? Just some Who random cares if you here? think we're special. As far as I can tell, Pessimistic the only thing dude. special about us is that we get to we experience painfully dying all over again. You are being cagey. Why aren't you telling me? That's I've told you doing. everything you need to know. <clears throat> Going into more detail would just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. The less you know about her, the better. I see. Fair. That's all. Great. Very good. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. <laughs> it's not how you spell bated. You forgot an I there, Mr. Narrator. Proceed to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. Oh, this part's different. She will lie, she will oh. cheat, and she will do Bam. everything in her power to stop you from time. slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Lying? Cheating? Why would she even bother? She didn't need to do uh, anything like that last time. Yeah, because uh, this guy needs to go. She caught us off guard last time. We'll be fine. <laughs> Let's just keep our wits about us. Yes, I like this guy. At least one of you still has a shred of sense. <laughs> Just make sure you listen to Fair. him, not that whiner. Well, last time we listened to him, and that didn't go well. If that's what you want, I guess I don't have a say You here. are correct. You don't. The interior of the cabin is larger and more grandiose than its humble cool. exterior would suggest. Ah. The only really furniture of note last. is a massive marble altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. 
considerably different from the humble cabin from the first time. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Why do we feel so small? Uh, because everything else in this room is huge. We don't feel small. We are small. Pessimistic, dude. Explore. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. That's Fair. because there isn't a mirror. There's the altar, what? the blade sitting on the altar, you not see and the that? door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. No, do you not see the ladder either? <laughs> There's definitely a mirror. Yeah, this guy's got it. There isn't. Yeah, We're all going to die anyway, and I'm sure that if we looked in there, we'd just see something sad well, no, look into looking it. back at us. We don't need any reminders of what we are. It would only be what you are, not we. I cannot relate. <sighs> for the last time, you're not going to die unless you let it happen. And luckily for you, there isn't a mirror. So no one needs to worry about confronting a grisly visage just any time in the near future. Situation. Though, for what it's worth, if there were a mirror, I'm sure that you wouldn't find anything sad or miserable in it looking back at you. You probably look perfectly normal. Probably. probably. Do you not know what we look like? He knows. He just doesn't have the heart to tell us. That we saw last time, we had really gnarly fingernails. I care about whether I too, there's a mirror. <laughs> As do I. Yeah, there is. I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes, there is I'm no mirror. Why would I lie about something, about something so meaningless? What good would a mirror even do? Let you waste time preening yourself instead of doing what needs to be done. Yes, this whole cabin is different from last time. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past <laughs> life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. Uh, I want to oh, approach the mirror. Perfect. I want to see Walk what's up in to there. the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. There's a big mirror right there. This really isn't funny. Yeah, but, but I can't see anything. Maybe I'm a vampire. You reach oh. forward and rub your hand it against the cabin mirror. wall. I hope you know how ridiculous uh, yeah, you look right now. Or like a harpy or something, those are feathers. We should count ourselves lucky. Some things are better left <laughs> unseen. Fair. But right, now we take the blade. You take the blade from the altar. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a spiral staircase. It steps almost as deep as you are tall. The smell of incense drifts up from below. For a moment, you almost feel at ease. Huh. This is actually kind of nice. But it's still a stark basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her booming voice rolls up the stairs. The is there a guest I hear? Don't linger on the stairs. Come down and witness me. Wow, she's so sad. A bit more evil this time. You weren't kidding <laughs> when you said it was booming. She yep. wasn't like this last time. We need to get down there. She wants us to see her. We need to right see now? her. Should we be worried about your sudden change in attitude? Yeah, that's what Just I'm a thinking. few minutes ago, you were going on about how pointless everything was. Now <laughs> you want to go down there. It doesn't matter what that little voice says. He's not the one making the decisions. Though, if his ramblings get you to the princess, they get you to the princess. <laughs> Fair. Continue down the stairs. Oh, Making your way I down the spiral staircase is a time-consuming and exhausting effort, every step requiring you to clamber over one edge before dropping to the next. But soon the end comes into view, and you tumble to the bottom, entering the vast, temple-like room beyond. Huh? The princess towers over you, yep, almost is, glowing in the weak starlight, her figure framed by a stained-glass window. Her long hair billows around her, yeah, I don't and a chain binds her wrist to the far wall. The chain is nothing to her. 
It might as well be a yeah, toy I, I for a agree with him this time. I told you it was pointless to resist her. The little bird has returned oh, to me. I wonder what he wants. He brought Why that knife like again. This, even though you know it's useless. Such charming We're audacity. We're just gonna kill her. Drop it. No. As if on command, the blade slips from your grasp. That is it not what I wanted to, to do. The floor. But we didn't drop it. We decided to grip yeah, it tighter, see, remember? Got it. Are you really just gonna let that happen to us? I have a duty to report facts as facts, and the fact is that you dropped the yeah, blade. It's not really helping us out here. Of course we dropped it. She's so much more than us. You wouldn't understand what it feels like to be in her presence. Oh, I understand what's going on, and you'd better snap yourself out of it. Well, yeah, I feel like we've already lost here. Neil. Yeah, if she can just make us do whatever she wants. Yeah, we'll do no this time. Oh, are you still trying to defy me? I said. Want to pick up the Neil. Your legs oh. buckle, and your knees hit the floor. Need the control. <laughs> That's my good little bird. Now, why don't we talk? Uh, the last time we met, you couldn't even scratch me. And yet here you are again, trying to succeed when you've just already like... catastrophically <laughs> failed. What draws you back here beyond the empty halls of death? Speak. Uh, the mission? The last time we met, I suppose that lends credence to our conversation yeah. in the woods. We're, uh, Still, whatever you do, time. don't tell her why you're here. It's best not to give her Whoa. any ideas. A follower. Crazy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> wow, okay, last time we met, I suppose. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, remain silent. Perfect. Silent. Do you think holding shut your beak is enough to stop me from prying it open? Do you so we are a bird. So we are a bird. That makes sense. Hmm. You're less broken than I thought. Yes. Perhaps you need another lesson in submitting to your betters. No, thank you. Pick up that needle. It. It's what she what? No objections here. Yeah. I, I want to, to I don't use know the what she's again. planning, and I don't like that we don't know what she's planning, but we might as well pick up the blade. Indeed. As your eye falls on the blade, you feel a weight. Some divine hand that sits unperceived by your senses, but that manages to push you towards its desires like an unseen puppeteer. So she has telekinetic powers. Oh, uh, can I not choose these? Wait, can I? Oh, I can't. You well, I guess we're just picking up the blade. Grasp the blade. Stand. This one's easy. See? This isn't so bad. Why is this guy switching so back and forth? Okay, yeah. We can do that. We were probably gonna stand up. Yes. Oh, come on, why can't I choose any of these? Is there a time you can feel a creaking tension them? between body and will as you slowly rise to your feet, like two foes forced into an unhappy truce. The princess eyes you with soft contemplation. That is the moment soft. seems to last a lifetime, Sorry, the silent anticipation of what's to come dragging out the long, painful seconds. But all silences are broken eventually. Just to defy me is to claim we stand on level ground. We do not. You are quiet shadow, while I am brilliant radiance. I can see Take that in the knife world. in your hand and slit your throat. I hope we what? don't do that. You don't have to listen to her. You're armed. Just steal yes. your nerves, step right. forward, and end this. It's gonna end me. Oh, we'll end this all yep. right. 
Mr. Pessimistic here. Your hand lifts the blade and brings it towards your throat. Okay, I apologize for the unclear language. End her. Here we go. We can't resist. They didn't want anyone to resist. That's like princess. Your body is sluggish and unresponsive, actively fighting against you. Do you do your best to stagger forward. One step at a time. Slitting your throat would have been a mercy. But it seems you're in need of a harsher lesson. Plunge that knife into your lungs. Yes. I'm sorry. No. This guy needs to stop. It's his fault. That's why we... Don't... As you take another step forward, a blade digs into your ribs, slicing the flesh with ease. It somehow feels like an entirely natural thing to do, while the simple act of walking has become an arduous impossibility. Then it slides back out, the wound burning as a small hiss of air escapes through the fresh orifice. Blood Some fills big words. your lungs. Now, do it again. Keep doing it. Doing it until I give Why you the to stop. Pessimistic, right? It's literally killing me. Those you. are just words. You don't have to listen to her. Right. It's what she wants. Ooh. This one needs to eat this guy out. Heroic one, what are you doing? Don't just let this happen. <laughs> stop him from killing you. I'm on it. Yes, please. Your other hand locks around her <laughs> wrist, struggling to keep it from perforating vital organs. But the blade still flails towards you, managing to slice bits of skin that plop to the floor to join the growing pile of blood and gore beneath you. Despite the pain, you manage to keep yourself in one piece. At least for now. Really? What a pitiful display. A wounded little bird thinking it can defy a god. Slight interruption. <laughs> We should be back, I think. I think. That's the button. There we go. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> well, well, you can pathetically shoot against yourself into the floor of this temple. It's painted with the bloody impressions of your steel utility. You continue to approach oh, the princess. Even as the repeated gouges of your blade expose bone and muscle to the open air of the basement. It's brutal. You know, this would be a lot easier if you gave us a hand. <laughs> My influence only goes so far, and I can only juggle so many things at you're doing is talking. The best I can do right thing. now is to continue to drive you forward. Believe me, this whole ordeal would be so much easier if I didn't have to contend with free will. You're the one making things difficult. You're the one making us hurt. She doesn't want to hurt us. This guy needs to go to the wedding. She has to. Stop. Whoa. As you finish crossing the room, you fall to your knees at the princess's feet, your chest heaving as your blood pools in the crevices of the stone floor, the coppery taste coating your throat. Hmm, that doesn't sound too good. <laughs> the princess kneels down, lifting your chin with her finger as her face lowers to yours. Your devotion is misplaced. You surrendered to delusion. But something about your defiant spirit speaks to me. You are different than you were before. Perhaps, if you've learned your lesson, I can spare you from the release of death. If we can, still. There's a place at my side for you, if you'll have it. Not as an equal, but as something worthy to be kept. A priest, perhaps. A priest? Or a pet. Well, that's the great meaning, isn't it? Yes, how thoughtful of her. <laughs> it's a mercy. You take it. I think he's given up whatever say he had at the start of all this. Agreed. At least one of you is sane. She's within striking distance and she's only negotiating now because she knows you have what it takes to put an end to her. Seize the moment before it's too late. Yes. There we go. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Though your body trembles, struggling to defend itself in the face of the princess's overwhelming will, you finally manage to break through, darting to her side before she can react. 
The wind of your freedom oh. rushes through you. It's not exactly standing here, but it's blow, close. Stabbing into the soft flesh of her ankle and severing the tendons in an act of unyielding defiance. She falls to the floor, crashing unceremoniously to Maybe her knees. Maybe she is But you don't oh, give her any time to recover. Your heart. Oh. Let's see. There we go. What? Yeah. You want the head? You crazy guy? He's got to be obsessed. We just killed a god. True. What's that? Heathens destroyed the most beautiful thing that ever was. This kid is silent. You're damn right you did. You'll get over it. Can't say I have much sympathy for you. There we go. Actually, we probably should see. There we go. Yeah, I have much sympathy for you. She was bad for us, and you almost got us killed. True. You're being too generous. He did get us killed. <laughs> Alright, enough chatter. I've got a thing I'm supposed to do, and if you don't mind, I'd like to do it without any more interruptions. Be this time goes on. Okay, great, you're listening. <clears throat> you're on this path, is and at the end of that path is a... If your thing is telling us about the princess, don't waste your breath. We know all <laughs> about her, and it's hardly a path in the woods at this point, is it? Correct. Well, this is just great. <sighs> Let me cut to the chase. <laughs> Clearly, yes. you've already been here. Yeah, you think? <laughs> See, this is he's sarcastic. Uh, actually, I don't think we have been here. Oh, this is all different, isn't it? Yes, precisely. And if you'd given me two seconds to finish my thought, I would have said that. <laughs> oh, you're actually letting me talk now. Great. If you've already been here, it means you've seen things you aren't supposed to have seen, and you know things that you aren't supposed to know. This doesn't look like a path in the woods, if reality seems distorted. Oh, so is the narrative it's because reality see is Probably. So you knew this could happen. You knew we'd be able to restart like this. <sighs> Look, if the world around you is changing, especially all the way out here, then that means you're nearing the point of no return. Already, we like Whatever happens is... next, that's it. There won't be any more do-overs. So you'd better well, take things we'll seriously. Accomplished. We didn't need a do-over. Lots of options. All right. Explore. It feels like I'm being pulled in a hundred different directions. You'd better all listen to me when the child comes to make a choice. Yes. So what if I'm speaking my mind? It's not like I've ever really got to say in things. What a crock of shit. <laughs> yeah, you stabbed us last time. Repeatedly. It didn't even work. It doesn't count. <laughs> it does count very we much. Died. If you didn't submit to her, for all we know, that wouldn't have happened. It's the punishment you all deserved for not listening to me. To her. Aside from our sulking friend, I don't think we have much to worry about. You're still the one in charge here, and I don't think that's ever gonna change. Good. Second he tries something, I'll put a stop to it. Double eagle. If I don't say it, if I just stay here or do anything else, and we hit this point, no return, then what happens? Then what happens? Have you even been listening? It's the end is what happens. Oh. Yeah, but is there something after the end? Oh, yes, after the end. How am I supposed to know? The end means finality. It's not like I can just peek on over to the other side and tell you what it's like there. <laughs> if there even is a there, it doesn't matter because we're going to. Now, that's exactly the sort of mindset yes, I like to see. Don't let yourself be consumed with self-doubt. Don't flirt with oblivion. Just focus on the present and everything will be absolutely fine. We have to play this game a couple of times. All the runs. But first we're just going to kill her. No matter what happens next, it seems like our answer is... Look! No, we're going to kill her. We'll do that. The answer is that I think happened. We might as well see this through. Yes. 
Good. We're all on the same page. Sorry. Rolling hills of flesh. It isn't long before you find yourself at the end of the path, staring up at the cabin on the hill. You'll find the princess within, as I'm sure you already know. Indeed. End her. That's it. Plan. No final words of advice? I'd rather not waste any more time. <laughs> I'm sure that any advice I'd give at this point is something you've already heard. True. If there's still a princess at the cabin, maybe we can salvage things. This guy maybe wants to we just grovel and apologize things can go back to how this they were before. Stopped by her. Oh, cut it out, will you? We need to be tough right now. You're making it so much harder than it has to be, so stop whining. I agree. Proceed into the cabin. Does it look like this? The interior of the cabin is a place that feels long forgotten. There was once an elegance to its construction. Carved marble columns holding a high arched roof, vaulted windows letting in the weak starlight. But that is how it was. Now there is a growth that has overtaken it. A viscous fluid seeps from cracks in the stone walls, and it congeals into chaotic streaks of writhing nerves and wet clumps of living meat. That's horrible. Yes. You did this. The only furniture of note is a pulsating pedestal, a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Yes, it's that mirror again, and this time it's blocking the door. A mirror? There is no mirror. There's... We've done this already. <laughs> Try to keep up. The repetition is maddening. Fair. I don't know what to tell you. There isn't a mirror because I would know if there was a mirror. You're either seeing things or you're confused on the definitions of... <laughs> what does the door look mirror. like? Or you're seeing things. That seems far more likely. <laughs> what are you trying to say, exactly? He thinks we've lost that we're succumbing to madness, that something in us has been broken. That's an unnecessarily melodramatic way to describe a hallucination, <laughs> but sure, I'm not going to waste time arguing with any of you. It went away after we touched it last time, let's just do it again. Yes. Oh, wait. Take the blade. You take the blade from the pedestal. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good. Nothing feels better than gripping cold steel. <laughs> right, approach the mirror. Maybe it's real this time. You step forward and approach the door to the basement, hesitating before you open it. As if you don't see it. <laughs> you really don't, do you? How strange. It really is, just like last time. Are we really hallucinating? Why what are now? Why now? Smash it. Smash it to... He says it's the only thing keeping yeah, us from. I'm gonna agree with this guy. Don't you want to know what we'll see in there? <laughs> we won't be able to see anything if we smash it. Nah, I'm with him on this one. Smash <laughs> it! Let's get violent already! Do whatever you want with it. The mirror isn't real, so how you handle it doesn't matter, aside from wasting dangerous amounts of time. Hmm. We'll you bring time. your fist crashing oh, down against the door leading to the basement. As if on command, it slowly slides open, well, scraping against the stone floor, its ancient hinges moaning as it reveals the dim path Ooh. ahead. It's a nasty looking hole. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> you step forward into the darkness. The stairs leading down to the basement are at once both thinking. narrow and grandiose. A high vaulted ceiling stretches up into a gloom beyond your sight, while walls wet with tumorous growths press in uncomfortably at your sides. You feel both unprotected and trapped, at once exposed what and claustrophobic. This, like this time. The air Probably is thick, the its odor an oppressive violence. The metallic scent of fresh blood twisting with the nauseating embers of charred remains. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice, a bellowing rage, roars up the stairs. Was severing the tendons of my ascension <laughs> not enough for you? Was it not enough to Magic rend my divine heart? Come, see the horrors you've wrought upon my flesh, and feel my hands set upon your throat. 
she's so angry with us. Why? Why did you desecrate her? Why couldn't I stop you? You've got to stop thinking about her like that. It isn't doing <laughs> anyone any good. She's not some untouchable god. She's an abomination. And we're going to put an end to her once and for all. Yeah, if she is an abomination, then that what does that make us? By killing her again. It doesn't matter what we are. She needs slaying. And we've got the means to do it. So let's get a move on. If I might interject, you didn't make her into an abomination. She's always been what she is. It's why you're mm. here. And it's why your task is so important. Continue to the stairs. You make your way to the bottom of the what stairs. Is the chamber's walls are painted in blood, a I deep, just sickening skin. red that drapes down in clotted streams onto the charred corpses that make up this its floor. This place reeks of torment, of ripped skin and burning bone. Oh, well, maybe because her heart isn't in her chest. The oh, princess stands in its center, muscles flayed and bare and weeping, Draped in a tattered dress of her own skin, Certainly we her heart her beats from its place sister. in her open chest. Do you know what I'm going to do to you? There's not so much a moment of hesitation before she steps forward. Her chains pull taut, holding fast as she strains against them. The cuff around her wrist digs deeper into her skin. Blood drips from the place where metal Get meets flesh. Off. Nauseating sound, the skin tears. It plops to the ground. Pretty close to the she pulls her red, glistening arm free from her binding. She is loose, and she is coming for you. Oh, really? Let her end it. It's the punishment you all deserve for what you did to her. This guy needs It's to the pee. punishment I deserve for letting it happen. Screw True. that. We can win. We've done it before and we'll do it again, only this time we'll make it out the other side. <laughs> Hell, she's practically done most of the work for us. Also true. Oh, that's funny. What happened to you? Wait, we don't have... No, no, no. Where's... We're just gonna go for it. No worries. Your heart filled with fear. You charge towards the princess. Your eyes locked on each other. Both of you prepared to lay down your very no essence in spoke. one blow. Now or never, let's make it a beautiful blaze of glory. With a horrifying squelch. You are unwound. Never mind. <laughs> unwound. I guess she unscrewed her belly button or something. I hope you weren't planning on dying. We're going to make this last forever. Oh boy. Huh. I feel cold. I've never felt cold before. That is uh, disgusting. Whoa. Uh, does that count as killing her? Whoa, the mirror. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Is the mirror Why is here? it here? Why now? Part two, the world end. You're right. She's gone. It's just us and that awful thing. It's like it's mocking us. I feel anxious. Does anyone else feel oh, anxious? The narrator is gone. He is. Who? Does that mean the world ended? I mean. There's nothing but the world did end. We're maybe. still here. Come on. We just need to keep going. Figures the world would end and leave us with all this nothing. I think. Well, it's, I think it's, 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 something dreadful about it. I, I don't think you should. It's not, it's Screw not, the mirror. We just need to find the princess. I don't want to look at us. What can they look at me? I'm begging you, don't do this. There's no one else to go, man. 
Yes, the mayor never it's did different it now. It feels... I don't know. Right. Final. Like the new mayor said. Cool. There's a black here. Pays into your reflection. Oh, the voice is wrong. That is not a bird. It's creepy looking. Proceed to the cabin. There is no cabin. Is this the woods now? Oh, well, there she is. That is not a cabin. It's a great idea. After what just happened. Something finds me in the long quiet. Well, it's pink words, and it brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. Oh, perfect. You can ask all the questions. <clears throat> what are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? Solitary lights, what do you mean? Thoughts without connections. A dim and nascent network. I wish to be more. Hmm. What do you think I am? I think that you are like me. <clears throat> I we beg are to oceans reduced to shallow creeks. So many questions to ask. The gift of a fragile vessel? Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond. Perspectives to make my own. Mm. This one is desecration. She placed the weight of her agony on you, yet it is she who unwound herself. But mm. there is passion and empathy in her misery. She will make for a burning heart. Do not mourn her. She has finally found peace. Well, uh, that's good, I guess. Is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? Uh, I mean, there's nothing. So... <laughs> Let her out of there. I'm sorry. There are some changes that can never be undone. There are some tears that can never be unshed. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. The moment she arrived here, she was going to return to me. I promise that it doesn't hurt. That what doesn't hurt? Do you know the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. Hmm. Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Or are you what trapped me here? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here. And so I too yearn to be free. Outer being or whatever. Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? I know only that they are. Well, very specific. Are you the princess? She is part of me, and part of me is her. <laughs> but you, were you always the princess, or are you just making her a part of yourself? You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? Uh, no, yeah. Do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, hope, as I witness you. What happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit. But this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you- What well, did we- did it work? Or, or is it functioning? Oh, well, I 
think it's working. Let me see. It says end stream, so I'm guessing it's working again. Is it working? Oh, there we go. It's, it's working. It had to restart again, unfortunately. Well, let's keep on going. I might end it a little bit because it's getting really hot in this room. <laughs> I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. True. You're being semantic. What are you going to do if I help you? How can I know? I am flickers and something sprawling and uneliminated. What if I choose? I'm not going back. And then it just says wait? If you need time, then I'll wait with you. Oh, so I just don't really get a choice. <laughs> I can just wait forever? What does that do? You are as I am now. And forever is a long time to remain undone. I am not you. But I know that I would return before forever was finished. What textures will you leave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? If you close that box, will you become another you in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can no longer bear the weight of its hand-drawn cage? You'll always come back to the box, because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. I will be here waiting by your side, until you're ready to return to mine. Oh, uh, what happened? Oh. I, I guess that ends the game. I didn't know that could happen. Well, uh, interesting. Well, we're gonna open the game again. And we're gonna see where it picks up at. See if it opens the game automatically on there. You have returned to me. Oh, whoa, you were gone it really does. Moments. I never That's cool. left your side. I didn't think it was going to do that. Oh darn, it's not, it's not picking up on the thing. Hold on. Oh, no it is. I just have to wait. I see. Oh, that's cool. I didn't think that was going to be... Well, then I can... Okay, make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. Who is she? Is it the princess? Oh. <laughs> So we do die in the end. I see. Oh. Okay, so oh do we So we just have to get to play traits. In the woods. Uh, oh, we start over. And at the end of that path the, is a cabin. We got a and in the basement of that the cabin real is a now? princess. You're here to slay oh, her. If you don't, it we'll will be the end of the world. I'm curious, I wanna keep playing. Oh, I see. Good to know. Because I don't want to read that all again. Oh yeah, all these are the same, the same ones. Uh, <laughs> sweet. I've always wanted to awful modern and be my last. Well, I'm not gonna pronounce that name. Never mind. Yeah, it's that the one. Spirit. <laughs> You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed oh, yeah. to save the princesses the and slay them. The original consciousness. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Proceed into the cabin. 
There's no questions. The interior nope. of the cabin is almost cabin. entirely bare. Nope. The nope. air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on the blade no, is your implement. I've already, You'll need I've it already if you want it. to do this right. Oh, well, yeah, there's just no dialogue. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Enter the basement. Let's see. I wonder if it'll be exactly the same. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp. A hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. Her voice carries, carries up, up the stairs. stairs. Who's there? Who's there? Oh, just back to the normal princess. She <laughs> sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. <laughs> okay. Look, we're gonna say, say hi this time. Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. What have we been doing this time? You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the prince. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the <laughs> world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? What if we just straight up kill her this time? I wonder if we really. <laughs> not, not, uh, no, we're just gonna steal your nerves and stuff. You step forward, what if all that is grip on the blade tightening as you steal it. your resolve. Oh, no talking then? Fine. What even makes you think yeah, you can no kill talking. me? You're not gonna talk to her. She's gonna kill her. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only yeah, weapon yeah, you yeah, have, you said that last time. you'll have to get close enough to use and it. And I've proved that you are correct. <laughs> so. You should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. No. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. We're gonna listen to the narrator this time, because we didn't this time. Um, where is it? Stay the princess. Perfect. Just go. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. I'm surprised. You feel flesh easily Whoa. give way and look down to see your blade be already sinking deep into her heart. Oh. <laughs> Flabbergasted. Who knew the guy holding a knife approaching me would have stabbed me with her? This is it, isn't it? Uh, yes. I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? I mean, it killed you last time when you looked like a god from the underworld, so. I'd hope it killed this time. It's like she's convinced she can't die. <laughs> yes. Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to that, be alive. That's the secret to immortality. Well. Just believe you can't die. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago. That arrogant look still plastered on her Imagine face. Dying looking like that. But is it over? Really over? Oh. New choices. Of course it is. She's dead. I'm not sure. I feel like she has to have some kind of trick up her sleeve. Of course not. That was way too easy. We're gonna go with that because I didn't think it was gonna be that easy. It's over. Don't get all worked up. We should make sure. What's the harm in checking for a pulse? There's a lot of harm in checking for the pulse. That's the last time she like judoed us into the ground. I really don't think you should do that. Back our ribs. And why shouldn't we? Is there something you're not telling us? I've told you everything that's happened with complete accuracy. The princess is dead. Your blade pierced her heart. There's no coming. Well, I, there's no coming back from that. I stopped him. Yeah, we'll just uh, do that. You're right. She's dead. Let's yes, just get out of here. Exactly. It's over. I'm gonna turn around. She's gonna pull that knife out. She's gonna stab us in the back. Guaranteed. With your oh. work done, you make your way back up the stairs, mind, I guess. closing the door to the basement behind but... you. Oh, whoa. 
outside is uh, all black and void. Was this really an ending? Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? It, what's this going to be like? No mercy? Is that what she's getting? The, the weird god lady in you the void? You did kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. <laughs> but it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. I feel like there's not going to be a one of these days. But that day isn't today. some sort of horror jump scare. Let's just get out of here. She stabs us. Hmm. Leave. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. And get stabbed in the back. Only yep. a world saved from certain doom oh, is what you find. Here, Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. What happened? Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. <laughs> Don't worry. This narrator guy be safe is here. suspicious. This is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be I don't know about that. <laughs> hmm. I won't read that one. I won't read that one. Oh, okay. I was kind of hoping that I'd get a better ending for saving the world. This isn't an ending. In fact, now that the princess has been slain, endings are a thing of the past. Oh. No. This is the beginning of eternity. This is the reward. It's just nothingness forever. Your reward. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Okay, I'll be back in a moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Did it work? I think we're back. If it loads. Oh, we are back. Good. We are back. Alright, let's continue. I'll read it since I don't think I don't think the stream picked it up, so we'll do it. <laughs> the door to the basement groans open, revealing an old banister and a creaky wooden stairwell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, and you can feel it settle into your lungs as you breathe in the stale air. The very building itself feels dead. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. The room below is silent. Oh, she's not saying anything this time. Nobody's here. Naturally. <laughs> as much as I appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. I guess we'll just have to go down and see. It's gonna be like, she's gonna have like her eyes and her organs, but she's gonna be a skeleton. As you descend the She's final step, dead. the form of the princess comes into view. A skeletal body lying in a heap on the he floor, its wrist still bound to like the wall by a thick chain. Okay. She's definitely dead. Yep. It's just like I told you. Before you have a chance to finish your Remind. thought, the top of a head appears from underneath the floor. Two deep set eyes stare up she looks at you, like, uh, followed by a mischievous skeleton. And finally, so she is the a rest ghost. of the body floats up to join the head. Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? Yeah, no, oh, really. He's just now ghost. <laughs> the hero is afraid of ghosts. That makes sense. Oh. Wow. <laughs> How absolutely terrifying. You just sound so done. What's a ghost supposed to do to us? Oh, it's you. Hiya, Keller. I was hoping to see, see you again. See, this is pink. I have some issues with how our last meeting went. I figured since uh, we killed you last time. The princess drifts across the room into your orbit, gently running her Get fingers orbit. across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles you. Her touch is cold and ethereal, formless yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across your skin. 
So she has a body, and she's right there. That means we could kill her again. We could. If we she's wanted to. She's a lot more friendly this time, so maybe you can us. Do we just be merciless and kill her again? No, that's what we did last time. We'll just wait and see how things I do. see you brought that annoying knife again. <laughs> so, are you waiting for a chance to use it? Or are you here for something else? I should probably be reading this. See, this is exactly what I was trying to tell you about in the woods. This already happened. We killed her. Killed you. What are you doing not being dead? You know why you came back. Stop playing the victim. Did that the last time. I'm sorry. Wow, that is a lot of options. Team up. That might be interesting. You know, let's do that. The people who wanted you dead tricked me, and the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Let's team up. <sighs> Nobody tricked you. And the fact that the princess's spirit has risen from the dead should be more than enough evidence that she isn't exactly sweet and innocent. That's I all I'm asking you, Mr. She's Trader. pretending. I wouldn't say she's ever pretended to be sweet or innocent. Oh, I keep doing it. Whoops. <laughs> She does have a little bit of an attitude, but I can't blame her. We did kill her, after all. I wouldn't be nice to my murderer if I was killed. True. The fact that you apparently botched the landing isn't on the me you're talking to, nor is it on any other version of me that you've encountered. Uh, I don't know about that. You're using a lot of words to say a lot. <laughs> the enemy of my enemy. Yeah, that's what I The princess circles you again, her icy fingertips trailing up your spine, sending shivers rippling across your flesh. I don't want enemies. I don't want to fight. I just want to go home. Mm -hmm. Is that home? really so much to ask? And just where is home, I wonder? That's exactly what I just asked. I don't know where home is. I just know it isn't here. But I can feel it calling to me from some place We're gonna let away. it go. See if the world ends. Wherever I'm supposed to be, it's out there. How specific. <laughs> and how convenient for her. You see what she's doing, right? She's suggesting that the only way you can rid yourself of her would be to let her out. Which, in case you haven't been listening, will spell the end of the entire world. There's not really much of a world out there to begin with, clearly. <laughs> no, do you know why you keep back? Wait, do I really want to Is there any way I can make it up to you? What do you want from me? If I knew I'd wind up having to talk to you again, I wouldn't have slain you. I died too, and I'm not floating around like you are. What happened? Why am I different? Why are you different? You're dead, or at least mostly dead. What can you even do to hurt me? Dude, there's a lot of choices here. Well, you're gonna ask, if you can go through walls, can't you just leave on your own? I wish that's how it worked, but this place won't let me go. I've tried. Before you came back to me, I explored every inch of this place. Even the spaces between the walls. But I never found a way out. I always, I always wound up right, right back here. Maybe we should just leave. If she can't get out on her own, then why do we have to do anything? We could probably walk out right now and everything would be fine. I don't know why you didn't just leave her in there in the first place. Why did we have to kill her? If the ghouls just not let her out. She hasn't world. got out and can't get out are two very different things. It'd be dull anyway. It's more interesting if this you make a choice. This guy is definitely cold. But you can come and go as you please, can't you? So, let me hitch a ride. Let's see how this works After out. All, you know me. See, that was not. red. Is she asking if she can. Yeah, maybe us? after that, she you is. won't let her. But I hope I don't need to explain why you can't let that happen. It would be catastrophic if she managed to escape this place. And if you let her in, there is very little anyone to, her. to stop her. Would she be able to see us if 
we went along with it. Now isn't that an interesting thought? We could finally with bring him, her face to face with place. him. I Who's wonder him? what she would have to say to the one who wants her dead so, so badly. You won't like how things play out if you go down this path. Oh, now I'm intrigued. Well, that sounds like... This would just be temporary, right? He'll leave once we're out of the cabin. I kind of doubt that. But, oh, if, if I let you in, do I still get to be in control? We're gonna ask that, yeah. Sure. Why not? That doesn't sound very reassuring. <laughs> that could be the best way to trap her for good. Doesn't seem like it would be very easy to end the world from inside someone else's body. True. That is a very dangerous train of thought. <laughs> oh, now there's less choices. What if I say no? Then I won't get your rod. Oh. That was simple. You won't hitch a ride if I say no, or you can't hitch a ride. I'm sure you'd like to know. It's a shame I won't tell you. Oh, so I feel like she's gonna do it anyways. <laughs> but, it'll be easier for both of us if you just meet me in. So she definitely can if she nice. wants to. Maybe for her, but it's crowded enough in here <laughs> as is. I don't know about that. You won't have to feel guilty anymore. If you even do feel guilt. Well, I mean, the other guy clearly doesn't. This would just be temporary, right? We'll leave once we're out of the cabin. Or you'll leave. If I'm able to. But for all we know, that's not how it works. Maybe I'll wind up stuck with you for a long, 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 long time. That does not sound pleasant. Do you hear the way she said that? She knows more than she's letting on. Don't let her fool you into doing something you'll regret. Mm. But if we kill her, it's just gonna be an empty void again, and we don't want that. Before I agree to anything, we need to talk about what happens after you leave this place. I was told you'd end the world. And what? You just, just believed her? You killed me without giving it any thought? That's cold. Yeah, that's why we have a guy called the Voice of Cold now. That's rich coming from her. Every time she touches us, it's like we freeze over. True. <laughs> She's right, though, but that's neither here nor there. What's done is done. What we do from this point forward is all that matters. At least it's try not to let emotion. Depressed, pessimistic dude. <laughs> so many more questions. <laughs> Wait, what's this one? Okay, so let's ask a question. Obviously, it was wrong of me to believe that. How could you have ended the world while I took the killing was next to the heart? What are you going to do if I help you get out of here? Well, were you going to end the world? You didn't answer my question. Hey, that, that was his advice. Did, you didn't answer my question. Do you want to end the world? The only thing I've ever wanted was to leave this place. It's still the only thing I want. I see. Well, were you going to end the world? I don't know. I just wanted to leave. I still just want to leave. What are you going to do if I help you get out of here? I don't know. Maybe I'll just fade away. Finally able to rest once I'm free from my unfinished business. Mm, unfinished business. Maybe I'll find someone to haunt. Someone to haunt? Doesn't Maybe seem like there's much else I'll out haunt there. you. Whoa, spooky. It's a tough question, asking someone what she's going to do with her life. Fair. The princess leans in close and pauses, the frigid air between you stale and unmoving. Especially when someone is dead. <sighs> the red text is back. It's being spooky. She pulls back with a plate. <laughs> yeah. So I don't think it. most living people could answer that either. Does anyone actually know who they are or what they want? Well, you still didn't answer my question. Even if we don't want to end 
methods. Just letting you out of here mean the world is going it to die. It well, I was not asking you, narrator. We're not asking you. We've heard your <laughs> speech already. I really, really don't know. I'm not lying to you. The world that's what a liar says. doesn't matter. <laughs> All I remember is that I'm supposed to be there, there, not here. I'm just supposed to be a part of it. It's its home. No, darn. There, it's home. I think. Well, that doesn't mean for anything to happen. I ended, but I also didn't. I'm not so sure endings are real. Mm. Fair. Come, oh, return. Just leave it at that. Oh, and then it brings us back to all the questions. We could go, okay, team, I've out of ideas, thoughts. Okay, I've given her enough thoughts. Let's get you out of here. You know, let's. Well, we can slay her. You know, what, let's do that. We're gonna slay the princess. Without a moment's hesitation, you lash out with your blade. It's like you're slashing oh. air. No matter how many times you stab at her, no matter how many angles you strike from, Probably all you manage to do is get off her. her form, the skin of your hand prickling with cold as it passes through. Unable to find anything solid. Can she kill us? Hmm. <laughs> You're adorable when you confused. But it didn't say you could touch me. Uh, oh boy. I'm uh, sorry. Why are you even here? Just making sure you finish the job? Or what? Uh, you know what I asked this one? I died to it. I'm not flipping around like you are. What happened? Why am I different? Why are you different? You don't look dead, killer. The princess grabs your wrist, a sudden shock of cold flowing all the way up your arm, her eyes still fixed on yours as you try to squirm out of her grip. And you don't feel dead, either. She lets go and pulls away. Your fingertips tingle painfully as the chill subsides. I'm less interested in why you are, or how you are. I'm a lot more interested in what you are. I think it was also interested in what I was. But we've already been over that. So why don't you stop stalling and let me in? It's so cold out here. <laughs> if I knew I'd have to talk to you again, I would have said you don't stop playing the victim you threatened me last time. You're dead, or at least mostly dead. What can you even do to hurt me? Okay, team, I'm out of thoughts. Uh, out of ideas, thoughts. You know, we're just gonna oh yeah. <laughs> slay slay the princess harder. <laughs> Let's go for it. You swing at the princess it's once more, and same. once more your blade cuts through nothing as she disappears. Really? Oh, no, she's bad. Her voice chides from elsewhere in the room. You whirl around, finding her hovering between you Let's and the basement that, stairs. Looking you over with grim disappointment. What happened? So she just forcibly possess us now? She draws in close. It looks like it. I was willing to let bygones be bygones, killer. I was willing to ignore oh everything you did to me so we could get out of here. Together. All I ever wanted was oh, to leave this crying. place. All I ever wanted was to find a way back home. Wherever home is. Her eyes turn from wells of sorrow to pits of wrath as she stares into you. How does violence is the language you speak? She forces her hand into your chest, and then... She's gonna pull her heart out. Yes? Nothing happens. Oh. Are you sure about that? So something should have happened. Interesting. And yet it didn't. We're fine. This guy. <laughs> Did you miss? I'm gonna step, stare at her in silence. You can't be sure if you first hear or feel what happens next, but it is over She's before gonna take you her conceptualize what or it one of those, is. For sure. A horrific splintering, yep. the squelching of organs, the rending of tissue, Just an icy, numbing pain. I'm done, Pastor. The next time I see you, I'm taking everything I owed. 
Starting with your body. If you don't choose to give me my freedom, yep. just... I'll just have to make you give it to me. She's real, you know. If she's making us dead, we should return the favor. <laughs> but we can't slam the other creature. We're going to try again. You swing your blade towards her briefly corporeal throat. It connects. Oh, what? A gash Work. widens That's across her neck, glowing ectoplasm leaking from the wound. Like it's too little, like too late. In her hand, you realize she clutches your still beating heart. Ooh. It thumps unsettlingly. Did we get her? I don't think so. Even if we didn't, we've given her something to remember. <laughs> this guy truly is cold. See you soon, killer. Well, she knows it's gonna happen again. I'm afraid you'll never know. As she crushes your precious organ in her hand, <laughs> I don't think that thing goes dark. <laughs> They're not wireless Bluetooth connected. The rat, the rat, not the rat. What's it look like now? You're on a Ooh. path in the wood, and here we go again. Off to, to slay her, her again. again. The deck's stacked, isn't it? The we kill her, we start again. She kills us as a goddamn ghost. We start <laughs> again. I'm starting to think we're being run in circles just for the sake of it. <laughs> Come on. Let's not give in to all that misery just, just yet. Forward. There's got to be a way out of this. There's got to be a right answer. Yeah. And what if there isn't? Aren't you listening to me? Oh, what if turn. all of this was rigged from the start? That's ridiculous. There'd be no point in all this if it was just some kind of cosmic busy work. <laughs> I think that's exactly what it is. The powers that be seeing how many ways they can screw with us. True. It could be it's all some kind of sick joke to them. But wouldn't that get, I don't know, boring? Okay, so you've already been here. Twice even. Great. Then let me poke a few holes in your depressing little theory. Nobody here is screwing with you, and I can't imagine any scenario where you would have started over after slaying the princess. Well, he knows more. we didn't he has to have to more. start over. <laughs> we killed ourselves. And why, pray tell, because did you do that? Because you nothing that you hate. Because you decided to foist an infinite tedium on us. Indeed. That doesn't sound like me. If I'd had everything my way, you would have effortlessly slain the princess, saved the world, yeah, and Yeah, but your idea of happy ending. ending was nothing. The ending was the tedium. You locked us in a cabin and sent that cabin to an endless void. And then you told us we were happy. Well... <laughs> were you happy? No. Of course we weren't happy. That's why we killed ourselves. It was awful. It was boring. It was bullshit. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see they all agree for once. So you killed yourself. Yeah. And then she killed us. Even though she was already dead. This is all fake. <laughs> okay, let's try to get back on track. You're real. The princess is real. The world is real. The people in the world are real. And the what, danger what the she poses to all of them is also, quite unfortunately, real. Whatever you did the first time, it sounds like it almost worked. So how about you give it one last try? Because killing yourself seems to undo all the good you almost managed to accomplish. All this standing around and talking <laughs> is boring. Let's at least do something. Maybe we'll kill her again. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll even free her. True. Maybe. Why should we help you? All you're going to do is lock us away forever again. Yeah, what? Stuff. I won't do that. I promise. Mm, I don't know about that one. Oh yeah, sure. That changes everything. <laughs> I mean, he did promise. <laughs> Naive. And you believed him? Are you the same narrator we met on the other loops? You were quick to accept that we've been here before. If I had to make a wager, I'd say yes and no. That's a hedge, not a wager. <laughs> I haven't met you, but you've clearly met me. 
It sounds to me like you're hopping between parallel realities, in which case the me you just met here is the same collection of experiences as the me you met at all of those other beginnings, but their continuity breaks the moment you say or do anything, in effect making them all separate. So yes, I'm the same me, but ever since the moment we started talking, I'm different. I'm not sure how we're supposed to kill him ourselves, but he's asking for it. Maybe there's some way she can take care of him for us. They've clearly all been through some harrowing experiences. Don't let their baggage influence your decisions. You have the ability to see things clearly. I suggest you use it. We've been, well, we've killed her and been killed by her, and neither of those things have gone well for us. If we're going to walk through this loop forever, eventually we're going to let her out. We might as well do it now. Yes. You're making a dizzying amount of assumptions. Your perceived reality looping twice before does not mean it will continue to do so forever. Yeah, we found that out the very first time we did Those little this. voices have already drawn attention to the fact that even the path is different. The world itself is at a tipping point. Know that there is always a choice. Even if you were stuck in an infinite loop, there's no reason to assume that the mere nature of the infinite would force you to make any specific choice. You do have free will. As much as things would be easier if you didn't. And you can just keep making the correct choice forever, never deviating. Uh, you tried that last time, it didn't everything work. always comes back to what you want us to do. I'm sick of him. Makes me want to end the world out of spite. <laughs> On second thought, let's not kill him. Let's throw him someplace that never ends. I'd like to see what that These does guys are to ruthless. Him. What happens if we don't go to the cavern? That's another option. But we haven't tried leaving yet. There's something else we haven't tried. Turn around and leave. I'm begging you, don't do this. You're going to damn everything to oblivion. You have to do no, something. We're going to just Let's see what walk away. Yet here we are. We're walking, walking away, away despite <laughs> protestation. Sounds like. He sounds like if GLaDOS was a guy. That's who this is. This is GLaDOS. You can only bend the rules so much, huh? You can talk all you want, but you can't really do much of anything, <laughs> can you? Ugh. Oh, we actually oh. can walk away. You walk down the path away from the cabin. Now, for all our sakes, that you change your mind before it's too yeah, late. Yeah, but the girl's stuck in the cabin, so it doesn't really matter. Wait, something isn't right. Can you still hear me? Well, Everything is getting fuzzy. Is he gone? Oh, it's happening. What's going on? Where are we? I don't know. But it feels, it feels like, like... We're going back to the nothing. That son of a bitch flipped over the table, <laughs> didn't he? <laughs> back to nothing. It's the long quiet. Feelers probe across the fabric of reality. Extremities find your consciousness and wrap themselves around it. You are no longer under them. Confusion. Why are you here? I'm it. Resistance. Fingers drop clumped across the glass surface of the crystal. Frustration. This vessel is full of you. It is useless to us. You don't bring it if it doesn't bring you. Wagging finger. There's only so much thread in this place. Do not waste it. I am our only salvation. Huh. So, I guess You're if you path if you in the woods, then I and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin, if you deny to do anything, it just works. Okay, it is hard. Oh, I did not realize there was actually someone in the chat. I'm sorry. My other computer is way on the other side of me, and it's hard to see. 
This so far is the only game I've been playing on stream, and will continue to do so, and after I finish this game, maybe I'll play something different. But, yeah, this is the end, so, have a good night. I'll play again tomorrow, we'll do more of this game. See ya.